Wait, isn't chess just a cringe game for people who think that they're big brain? Well, you might think of that, but actually, chess is a timeless game that recently got popular because of the Netflix show Queen's Gambit. Sorry, I mean because of the Pop Champs tournament. Sorry, I mean because of the chess boxing tournament that had 3 million concurrent viewers at a certain point of time. Sorry, I think it's actually because of the memes. But you might be asking John, why are you salty like Warren Buffett's food or Magnus Carlsen in 2015? Well, I'm tired of lying about being good in chess, okay? When my platoon mates play, I act as if I know what's happening. Oh, he's using the Mongolian opening. I'm going to just develop my pieces right now. And then I have teenagers in my church camp younger than me playing four-player chess. The issue is, I'm really, really bad at chess. So I want to master chess in 30 days. In the beginning, I thought I might have beginner's luck. Surely the TikToks on my For You page teaching me how to win in a few moves is enough, right? Wrong. Cue the montage of the blunders that I made. Oh, we thought the knight could form the bishop and queen by his against blind sided by the other bishop! John didn't castle and he lost the rook! He could have mated in one but missed it like an idiot! He tried to check but instead loses the queen and the rook back to bang like a drake track! Could have captured the queen but missed it! John moves his queen and oh, he gets captured! The queen is ready to check me him but he doesn't know how to bring up the bishop to make space for the king to do the Mongolian escape and gets mated immediately! And while your edit inserts some joke about how two years of NS has made my brain rotten, that's when I realised that I had to learn and practice. So I got down to actual business on 13th January. That's right, during Chinese New Year, I did this challenge. I would be on my phone or computer reviewing my mistakes after a game, solving puzzles on chess, or watching YouTube lessons by Gotham Chess. I'm sorry that I have no interesting footage. It would be cool if my training montage looked like this. Oh, or maybe I should have done it like that. Because I've been trying to improve. And unfortunately, that doesn't mean that I'm good at chess. I'm on day 16 as of recording this. Chess isn't a game where you can be creative like in a sandbox. On a side note, chess may be the best or worst game when it comes to backseat gaming. Spectators can make you dumb your every move and become stressed. As a beginner, I can't get creative with my own playing style until I duck all the stupid blunders as a beginner. So John, why can't you go past the beginner stage and stop making all these rookie mistakes? Well, probably because my discipline is terrible. I know that I need to learn the theory, but it can get dry and boring after a long day. So, I still lose all the games against people with the same rating as me. However, I remember that one night like it was yesterday. At midnight, I couldn't sleep, so I just queued for a 10 minute rapid game. The usual. I thought I would lose. But wait! My opponent blundered by handing me his queen on a clean silver platter. That's right, it was the first time I got the fourth last alphabet. A W. That night felt good. Which is probably why I see chess pieces on some nights. It's like the Tetris effect, except I can visualize the chess pieces at 2 a.m. when I need to wake up at 7 plus. But for the most part, I still lose a lot. It makes me demoralized when I know that the fault is on me and the blunders that I overlooked. Well, I can't improve chess with just me and the internet. Maybe I just need some assistance? <laughs> This is the Singapore Chess Meetup, as seen in Streets Times and as the first result when I googled Chess Meetup. Going for this meetup is how I push myself to improve in chess so that I won't get humiliated when playing chess in real life. Now it's time to see whether the training paid off. But what you might not expect was the challenge to overcome the anxiety. It's been a while since I went for a social gathering alone and I had to interact with people if not I can't play chess. It really was something outside of my comfort zone. Then I saw someone sitting alone with the chess board set up and I gave myself a few seconds of courage to ask him. Just like that we kicked it off! Playing chess IRL is more challenging than online. I can't see the pieces in the bird's eye view and I can't tell if my king was still in check after moving. And yeah, I didn't know how to configure the physical timer. And yeah, while setting up the board, I accidentally swapped the king for the queen. The queen and king is wrong. Oh, yeah. But was I still able to win? 
can also trade and take and take and if takes, I take, if takes, 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 queen e2, queen h4, g3, knight g3, check, c6, queen b7, knight h1, king. Oh, I gotta get checkmate. Bruh, thanks? Why didn't I say good game back to him? So I lost all the games I played, but... 4 L's make up 2 W's, right? Wait, I had 5 losses in total? My joke doesn't make sense! These people were so into chess, they were eager to play with strangers. But thankfully, no one was being a sweaty tryhard. If anything, people were nice to a newbie like me. When I told people that I just started a month ago, they thought that I was not bad. Learning like 1 month ago, well, that's why. I like actually learning like a month ago. Wow, that's very good already. Alright. That made me feel good since I've progressed from a level 1 bandit to a level 100 spy. It's just that I was dealing with level 1000 bosses. Now, you can see that they are trying to not hurt my feelings and encourage me to play chess even more. But I did feel like I was better at making moves than before. I did get familiar with some patterns, though I still got wrecked by the openings that they have clearly mastered. After each match, I asked them how I could have improved. And my opponents gave me some advice. So that was nice. This was a mistake because it blocks okay. your account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I mean, it's okay. If you haven't seen the opening, then... Uh, but I picked it up after five matches, one after another, because it was too mentally exhausting for me. And just like that, it's over. Going to a physical meetup with strangers was one of the scariest things I've done. But I think it's what I needed. I just ORD and since I'm not working, life can get kind of stale and boring. I was scared to join in as a newbie but thankfully it went well and I can end this journey on a high note. <sighs> so now that the 30 days are over, I can finally answer these questions. Did chess make me smarter? No, it didn't. Maybe it's copium on my end since I'm not good at chess, but hear me out. Chess feels like it's about being familiar with patterns and how to act upon seeing those patterns. That's why experts can understand what openings their opponent is using within the first few moves and then know how to not fall into their traps. Sometimes it requires playing a lot of games and analyzing them repeatedly. Sometimes it requires memorizing since some moves are just so textbook. Of course, this strategy game requires a combination of a few cognitive skills, but I don't think it would then make you smarter. My friend has been playing chess since young and his GPA isn't great. So that's a very weak piece of anecdotal evidence to support my argument. Another question you might ask is, am I interested in chess now? Not really. Maybe I'm a very sweaty tryhard, but I would like to have a taste of victory when playing chess. It's hard to tell me to play for fun because nothing's more fun than winning. I'm sure there are gamers who quit after a few losses in a row, right? So it's pretty normal. I wouldn't actively find people to play chess with, but if someone puts a board in front of me and says, let's play chess, I wouldn't mind. As long as there's no betting involved and it's just for fun, I don't mind playing in front of a crowd of people. When I inevitably lose, my opponent will feel good because everyone witnessed his win. Well, I feel better on the inside since people now underestimate me. I also wouldn't mind watching memes or brilliant plays on TikTok. If anything, I have a greater appreciation since I know firsthand how hard chess can be. So I didn't master much of chess, and I might have become saltier than I was 30 days ago. But I wanted to attempt this challenge for a very long time, and I could finally get it off my chest. Hey, was it a stupid pun? Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video since some of y'all say that y'all like chess as seen in this community post. This comment is really funny in retrospect. I'll recreate the entire anime opening for chess if this video gets 1000 likes, which I know will never happen. Subscribe so that you'll see me when I play Just Dance for 30 days to improve my running. Okay, bye. Look at this dumb setup. I'm setting this against my blanket over here. Then my blanket over here, this is such a stupid setup. Bro, I don't know whether this 10 second bit is good or not. This anime opening took me about 1 hour to create. First I need to find the green screen text overlay actually used inside the Naruto opening. Then I had to go through the lyrics because I had to recreate the entire song using just my voice so that I don't get copyrighted. Then I had to film myself push up sit ups and blindfolded bro. This is such a stupid bit but I hope it looks kind of good at the end though. I really tried to go to the meetup last Wednesday but then I decided to chicken eye the last minute so I really need to do this just to prove that I can finish this 30 day journey already. So. Let's see. Come on, let's stand it still in defense.
I can play Unix if you want. No, no, I'm just looking.